Hey there everyone, this is Yui. Welcome to episode 8 of All the Mods 3 Expert. Today, I'm gonna try to learn some Thawncraft. So, no promises, but let's get to it. Between episodes, I did a bunch more grinding. If we come over here, it won't look too terribly different, but it is. So I've upgraded the bat box to an MFE, which is the same thing that's over here. Underneath here, I have not quite enough. I'm missing a few still because I got tired of making them, but I have the medium voltage water mills. They generate, uh, well this one says four, but sometimes they're five, sometimes it's six. But apparently it's four now. So overall, I'm generating roughly 50, about 50 EU a tick, which would be enough to explode all of these machines. So I've also given them upgrades. Uh, this These transformer upgrades, I use this bottom recipe because it is easier. It's not, they're not like impossible to make. They're just, it gets tedious. I've given each of them at least two or one one or two no they all have two yeah and then i've given them enough overclocker upgrades so that when i hold shift over it uh the energy usage is between 30 and 50. so they all if they're running independently they should be roughly using what i'm generating if two or more are running i should start losing power in here but overall, it's a lot faster. I've made an electric furnace. Um, I've got nothing really to run through it because I did it all. Right, I am. Yeah, I'm out. I don't think I have anything to... Uh, no, coal doesn't go in there. Yep, no. Here, we'll do... Uh, I should theoretically be able to combine these. Nope, totally can't. That's a little bit of a disappointment, but, you know, I throw them in there. They come down here, and it's pretty quick. So you saw that. Yeah, there it goes. And since it's free power... I don't have to worry about using this, which actually runs out of power, because we're going to get into other things eventually. I've been reading this book uh, a little bit. I'm going to take a lot of cuts here, probably, while we're going through this, so I can actually read it and figure it out, because I can't actually check certain things until we get to it. But I'll, I'll do that as we get there. But this little guy... I've made some of this knitter, niter, knitter, I don't know. I'm going with knit, knit, knitter. So if you look up the recipe for this, there's a crucible recipe, and it needs, uh, well, yeah, I'm never going to remember these things, but potentia, ignis, and lux. Ten of each. So I just need to find items that will provide this. And I found if you do coal, you get the potentia and ignis. And if you do glowstone, you get the lux and an owl. I don't know what the owl is. <laughs> it's, uh, it's not even important. Uh, census, there you go. But then it also wants a glowstone to be put in there after you get those. So if I just hit Q for those two things in there, it doesn't tell me, but I know that there's enough stuff in there. And I usually just right click it. And there we go, it gives me knitter. Uh, I've been reading a little bit on the research. Apparently I gotta do something like that. I have run out of paper. <laughs> oh, no, I have not. All right. Uh, also, I've been grinding up uh, sugar cane. Well, and I'm doing flax now because I wanted books. 
The hemp seeds are 10, 10, 10 now. I ran, once they hit the end, over here there was 10. You run them through the seed analyzer, it'll tell you the stats. Apiaries do help, so uh, I've made lines of apiaries, and I've got a large amount of 10, 10, 10 sugar canes. So a way to do this is once you get one of them, you can actually just spread them. I won't get too much into the farming stuff because I know people don't do it probably. But if I want this to spread, I can just do that and it'll spread over. If I want to speed it along, I can use the watering can. I just sit here with the watering can, let it go, and well, this one can't spread because it's not fully grown yet, but once it does, there'll be a chance for it to spread over to the right. Go. Or this top one down. Not the fastest always. Or, or, or I'll just let it go, because it'll do it itself. But I've been doing that, and I use that to unlock all of the enchantments that I have upstairs. So I've got, I've got paper. I don't know if this is the right paper, but I've got it. That is, oh, that's my hockey bar. That's a weird, weird representation. Okay. So I have no idea what I'm doing here. Uh, wow, okay. Uh, when Encentia combines to form more complex forms of numbers, whatever. Gain alchemy. Okay, and this is gain alchemy and one bonus draw. So that sounds good. Or do I need these crystals? I did find some more of the blue ones. How do I do this? I am not sure. Oh well. I'll uh, be back in a second. I'm going to read up on the book. See what it tells me to do. Be back in a second. Alright, so I just needed the crystal at the bottom. And... A According to, well, actually, no, according to J.E.I. If we just look up crystals, it'll, it'll tell you, or you could just hold shift over them. It'll tell you the, well, it'll show you the picture of the thing you need. So, I then you just drop Quicksilver in. Which, if you've got a compacting drawer for your quartz, you have access to it without even... Doing it, otherwise it's just break down a piece of quartz into nuggets. And yeah, you uh throw in an item, say uh I don't know, here you go, piece of coal. Throw in some quicksilver. Don't don't step in here, it hurts. <laughs> I don't I uh accidentally did that before, and it scared me. But I guess we can just Uh, sure, I don't know. Do like some of these things are just you was that like soul sand? Do I have soul sand? Oh, there's no human in that. <laughs> oh, maybe like animal. Yeah, I I don't play with this enough to know. Well, I guess you could just look it up. If you look it up, it's going to be... Click on it, then you can click on the aspect, and then you can go to the second tab, and then you can start looking through here for stuff that you might have. Rotten flesh. Five. We'll grab a little bit of that. 
It does maintain the aspect when it runs out of water, so just refill it. And then, yeah, like that, I can research that. Yeah, well, that's not happening. Uh, sure. Whatever. Wants all these vials. I didn't get into that stuff yet. Uh, Vin and well, whatever. You you get the point. Well, let's see. Actually, let me just do it because I don't know if I need that or not. Uh, Vin is a the. Door. I have a door. And what's the other one? Uh, more. A head. I saw a creeper head at least. I don't know if I have heads. Bone. Oh. Man, <laughs> there's gonna be just so many random things. Let's see, you empty? Nope, now you are. Alright, give me that. Complete. And there we go, I have no idea what that did. Is that listed? I know if I click on these. I don't know if that's... It could be these. Oh, there. Theory. I didn't get very far. But I know we're going to need... What is it? Brass and Thaumium. The so Thaumium is going to be... Ray Cantacio and Terra. Which finding this stuff is... There's got to be an easier way to do this that I just don't know. Uh, yeah. Alright, mana glass, I guess. Is that what I saw? I know I have some. Where is it? Oh, jeez, that's only one. And Terra, so dirt. There we go. How much do I need? Okay, brass is easy. Whatever that one is. Five. There's, there's got to be something better than just one. Because that's the mana glass. And a powder, maybe. That's three. Uh, man, a diamond, if I really want to waste an entire pool. Please, just enchantment books. I have some enchanted books. Oh, they're they're gone. They're down here. I got tired of all the stone swords clogging this up. Uh here. That's three sixteen. Might want I'm never gonna use efficiency two, probably not. Breaking one. Shush, you're too noisy up there. Uh, sure. Give me that too. And I am out of room. That just sucked it up. I forgot about that. Give me my dirt. There, I'll just use enchanted books. 
Plus what? Iron? I've got iron. Okay. I've got too many crystals. There. Oh, let's hope for the best. This. And that. Oh, that failed. Yep, that totally failed. Abort. Did it not like the books? Hmm. That's probably because I'm tossing so much garbage in there. No, use it. Jeez. Told you, I am uh, not very good at this one. This is one of those mods that I just have not used. Oh, I don't have to research. Ha 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 ha, okay. That makes more sense. So now I actually do need to research because I need the theory for alchemy. So let me go through this process again and I'll be back. Alright, I am slowly figuring this out. I have one theory of alchemy. It wants one theory of alchemy, so I should now be able to craft Thaumium. Ah, fun. So let's grab one of those. Oh, I have a ton of random crystals now because I realized when I was tossing in the Quicksilver before, the water wasn't boiling just yet. So yeah, there were, there was a lot of them in there. Okay, so it wants this, this one, and now, no. Is, is it still not going to work? Five. I did that. One, two, three, four, five, here. Just in case, there's that for you. There's a piece of dirt for you, which is five. There. Yeah, I have no idea what's in there. I, I like just emptying it out with this stuff. Probably a waste. But that's how we get, uh... Thaumium and... What's the brass? I got that by accident. Uh, whatever this pickaxe stuff is. Uh, railroads. I could do... No? Wait, what? It's not even listed on there. Bronze. Oh man. Oh, speaking of bronze, before I totally forget, I was tired of making bronze, so I put a bunch in there. Okay. So I think I just need to make a few more of these for the quest. Yeah, so let me just make those up, and then I'll be back. Because I think we're going to need to get into this weird stuff here. So, I'll be back in a moment. Well, a moment for you. Who knows how long for me. Alright, I got all of them. Uh, honestly, brass is easiest doing 
Just bronze. Do bronze. Thaumium, I did Eyes of Ender, which gets you... Gets you five of them, but it gets you a bunch of other junk. But they're easy enough to make, I suppose. I did Eyes of Ender and Dirt, and that got me the Thaumium. Moving on, we're going to need both these ways, and I don't know if either is going to be particularly great. Yeah, look at this. Do we need another one of these? Mana Steel. Oh, come on. I'm going to. I, I think after this episode, I am going to mass produce Coke ovens and... Uh, blast furnaces. It wanted four. Okay, let's do some counting. Four, five. Five. Okay. Let's look at this stuff. Okay. Nothing. All right, five. Where is it? The problem with this storage is it does not sort well. Actually, you know what we're going to do? <laughs> Before we continue, modular storage. I need quartz. I made a bunch. 20. There you go. 20 machine frames. Uh, it's not fun. Okay, <laughs> it's not fun at all. I cannot wait for auto-crafting, so I don't have to do this garbage by hand, and the chests keep throwing me off because I am currently recording this on Christmas Eve. And I can't find the chest. I'm like, where are they? Where are they? It's like, oh, that's right, they're presents. <laughs> I think the storage modules are the same. Yes. Give me two of those, and four. Let's do this. Give me a nice, nice big one. Throw this in here. There we go. I'll just be back in a second because I'm going to move everything into this modular storage. There we go. <laughs> now I have a search feature. It's, uh, you know, it doesn't have a furnace and all that fun jazz, but it'll, I love these things. And I can pick it up. Now I've got my entire, well, no, I still got junk up here. I didn't move that stuff. I should, but I didn't. All right, let's take a look at some of these real quick. That's right. These were not real quick. They were very ugly. Hardened glass. So... Induction smelter. Do I still have that somewhere? I know we already made it because I was a dope and didn't look at the recipes for the steel. This is gonna go... Ah, uh, sure. Give me this one and that one. That way, I can, actually, how much hemp do I have? Uh, a little bit. Is that enough? I don't remember. I need that. Yeah, that should be plenty. Do I have these? Upgrade. Do this. Craft. Yeah, there we go. No electrocution. <laughs> it's the small things that make me happy sometimes. Now I can walk there <laughs> and not worry about it. I don't shock myself over there very often, so I'm not going to worry about those right now. Okay, gauntlet. 
Weird crystal. Okay. Induction smelter. We need obsidian. You run obsidian through the macerator, you get pulverized obsidian. Do I have lead in here? Two, three, four, I think. Look how much faster this is compared to before. It is so much better. Okay, so hardened glass right here. This is the one I'm doing. Because the other one requires you to have hardened glass to make, which is kind of pointless. Wait, I need... Was that two? No, that was four, right? Yeah, okay. For this, you're gonna have to turn off this slot. Oh, look how nice and slow that is, because that doesn't have an upgrade. Alright, let's look at some of these other things. Oh, there's so much stuff to make. Brass plates. Can I run these through here? Yes. Let's count them up. Two, four, four. That's it. Coincidentally, we made four. I'll be honest. What I'm going to want to experiment with is uh where is it this one right down here golemancy because i think that's what allows you to do some weird automation stuff with thongcraft mm -hmm. and since we have it and i never use it i might as well force myself into it and automating is uh, a great way to figure stuff out Okay, so I need this to be mana. Oh, there's so much weird stuff to do. Oh, that's the other thing I want to do is upgrade these mana pools. Oh, no. Wait, what? What did I say? The world spread out before me? Oh, well, that's lovely right there. one this is like the man of diamonds again uh get to work turtle you got a lot of work to do assuming i didn't close the game since last time i reset it and i have no idea okay mirrored glass quicksilver did i pick up any of these things Shimmer leaf. Shimmer leaf. I've got a quicksilver. Here's some shimmer leaf. Is this used for anything? No. Okay. There. Uh, yeah, we'll drop it in here. Sure, why not? Oh, that's because it's crafting in the thing. That's why. Silver. Silver plus any glass. Fifty one. Oh, missing basic artifice. Is that in the book. Here it is. Uh, tool. That's a no. Oh, that's discovering it. Basic. I am now ready to begin crafting mechanical magical mechanisms. Okay. Yeah, there we go. 
So it's weird. Whenever it says it's missing something, it's in the book somewhere. You just got to read it and either you need observations, which you get from scanning the chests or the inventories with your little, this thing, thalmometer. Speaking of which, can I scan this? I <laughs> only scan the first hundred items. <laughs> That's okay, I guess. I don't think anything new's in there. Oh, I lied. There is. Learn it all. So you either need those observations. Sometimes you need discoveries. And sometimes you just need research. I'll read all this stuff later. A redstone torch. Torch. Okay. I got sidetracked. Once again, like always. Invar. Do I have Invar left? Barely. Right there we go. We're we're moving up in the world. That's to make the thingy man of steel plate. Did I make those? Don't remember now. We got the brass. What did I do with those? Man. I don't think I made them. Oh, come on. Yeah, I totally didn't make them. I can make... We'll just use the what we have. Forget it. That's fine with me for now. I'll make another one of these later. Just in case, can you? Alright. Wait, where'd those plates go? Invar. I used those. Okay. I'm going crazy. Man of steel and leather. Man of steel. Do I have leather? A little bit. While that's going, there is one thing I do want, which is... Fluid Transposer. I have most of the stuff already. I'm just going to drop that there. Oh, we're also going to need a Magma Crucible. Which I probably don't have. Copper... I'm making these so I can upgrade my mana pools. Throw that in there. So let's just make our glove real quick. Boom. Everyone's happy. What's it do? Nothing. Nothing by itself. I can punch with it. <laughs> Caster's Gauntlet. I don't have any spells, though. Alright. So let's just do this. And then we'll call it good, probably. Make me another one of these. I found a Mesa or something. Is that what it is? The one with all the terracotta, so I grabbed a couple stacks of it. Yeah. 
That way, I don't have to smelt clay or wash it anymore. I'm so sad that that random thing's thing fell through. There we go. So we need. We're gonna upgrade our mana. One mana pool. So this is. 4,000 and we get what? 250? Yeah, 250. So. There, that many. We throw this in here. We should be able to. Yeah, it should auto eject into here already. All right, let's take you down. Move these guys for just a minute. Let's not not waste the mana and throw in a diamond. Give me that. Stop throwing stuff on the ground. Realistically, this is actually not a lot of mana. But there. It is that much of a regular mana pool. That's how f eight it looks like eight of those diluted mana pools is one mana pool. And I am tired of how pitiful they are. Oh, wow. You're just going to be real slow. At 40 RF attack. All right. Well, I'll just be back in a second because we'll, we'll finish up with this. All right, glowstone is done. I just uh, remember if you're doing it like this without a fluid duct, you're going to have to change your input on the configuration and your output, make sure they line up. So we should just be able to throw that in there. And go. Wow, that is another slow one. So while that's going, I'll just show you something interesting. Uh, from random things. So if you could go around, you'll find these glowing mushrooms occasionally. Combine it with glass and glowstone, you get this powder. What's this used for? And besides being a crafting ingredient, you can also combine luminous powder and enchanted items in a crafting table to make the enchantment glint glow in the dark. Cool, okay. Oh, and that message before, I just realized it, it was because I visited the highest place because I have this really high up in the air. But if you take one of these illuminators, which just take some of those ectoplasms and glowstone, my little villagers, and you just put it down, it'll go towards the center of, I guess, the highest block blocking the chunk but now that I put it there which lines up with this mob farm it's this entire chunk this entire chunk is lit up so it's a easy way of disabling my mob farm but it'll also light up like underground and stuff too well the, the blazes will still go of course because they're they're jerks like that but if you want to, since I don't know if we will get the cave illuminator, because I can't click on it, so there's no recipe for it yet. But I know we're a bit early. Because astral sorcery is not until later. But there we go. We've got a real mana pool. And there, I don't know why I bother with that one. I don't, I don't feed it ever. And when I do, only one of them ever eats. So I just 
I get these munch dues. That's that's how I get my mana. And once that reaches one eighth the way full, it's the same as one of those. So, yep. Anyways, then that's gonna be it for this episode. Hopefully, it wasn't too bad with all the palm craft. I'm still learning it, playing around with it, whatnot. But we'll see you next time. Bye bye.